Okay, Dave. Um, hopefully this short video will help. Uh, first thing you want to make sure you have is um, native access. So if you don't have it or you're not sure that you have it, it should be in your, um, oh, let's see, where is it? it? Should be in your documents or it should be in your applications file. So under, yeah, under applications, it should appear in native access. If it's not, Google it and find it um, and install it for Mac. So the next thing you want to do, obviously I have more libraries than you do, way more. So I'm going to do a search and the first thing you want to search for is contact seven. And just make sure the contact seven is installed. Um, then the next thing you want to search for is contact factory. And these are the free libraries that will install in contact factory. And I'll show you how this, this works in a minute. So you see, I've installed, oh, I've installed two of them, but I would install both, um, contact factory library and contact, um, factory selection, whatever's available in here, install it all. Cause you, you have the disk space. Um, I've only installed half of these because I don't really need it because I have too many too many libraries as you can see so once you've done that um, go to logic and easiest way to do this is just go up to the plus button right here hit plus and like I said MIDI instrument software instrument and under details in this case now if you go down to AU instruments um, you should be able to find native instruments and you should be able to find contact seven. Just do a stereo and then go create. So this will create contact seven. Taking a little bit of time here. Taking way more time than it should. There it goes. Um, then what you do, okay, um, let me just search I'll show you this through, oh, let's see, I'm going to go contact. So factory library. So once, you know, you, these should show up. So factory library, factory library selections. So if I go down, down to instruments and let's just go to synth, double click on it. And I'll just put, I'll click on one. There's any number of ways you can get these in here. You could just drag and drop typically what I do and these will appear and now you should be able to play these with your keyboard and you may want to watch some tutorials on uh, on um, Google some tutorials on YouTube on using contact um, all the information is there I'm not going to go into it uh, there's a lot of things you can do with contact but now basically what you can do is set this up to record and then just record. And it will play back your instrument. So um, that's it in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions or, you know, if I need to come over, I don't know if you have this on your laptop or in the studio at Holderness. Um, I'm happy to swing by if you're still flummoxed by all this, but hope this helped.